my dear brothers and sisters in the lord we have already begun a new liturgical season in this year the season of lent which is also known as the season of grace we are now on the very first sunday of lent this sunday is also known as the temptation sunday so let's reflect on our temptations today very often we hear these statements i have been praying very hard i have done so many retreats and i have been very faithful to my spiritual exercises yet i have not been able to give up my anger sinful habits or certain addictions or any kind of weaknesses suddenly this must be the experience of most of us why is it so saint paul in his letter to the romans chapter 7 19 and 20 says about the inner conflict for i do not do the good i want but the evil i do not want is what i do now if i do what i do not want it is no longer i that do it but sin that dwells within me this is our situation as well temptations are inevitable no one can escape temptations if so where do these temptations come from bible tells us clearly in the letter of saint james chapter 113 no one when tempted should say i am being tempted by god for god cannot be tempted by evil and he himself tempts no one suddenly god is not responsible for temptations who then is responsible the first reading from the book of genesis gives us the answer it is a devil or satan is responsible for our temptations we hear that our first parents were tempted by the devil and they fell prey to it in the gospel reading we find the devil even tempting jesus we hear about the three classical temptations of jesus they are presented dramatically as if they occurred at once far away in the wilderness before jesus began his public ministry however these temptations are what jesus actually faced and overcame all through the three years of his public ministry Jesus was tempted even till the end while hanging on the cross if you are the son of god come down from the cross matthew 27:40 by giving into temptations jesus would have enhanced his reputation and done his own work but that was not his mission however Jesus overcame all the temptations in his life and defeated the enemy. So the second reading from the letter to the Romans says, for just as by the one man's disobedience the many were made sinners, so by the one man's obedience the many will be made righteous. Romans 5:19. So we have hope in Jesus. which saint paul expresses in these words wretched man that i am who will rescue me from this body of death thanks be to god through jesus christ our lord romans 7 24 thomas aquinas says satan is behind every sin but he is not responsible for it so temptations are bound to come However, we have the grace of God to overcome them. In this season of Lent, let us draw closer to the Lord by fasting, prayer and almsgiving. Let us also frequent the sacraments, especially the sacraments of Eucharist and penance, and overcome our daily temptations by the grace of God. May God bless us all. Amen. For further updates subscribe to our channel and please click on the bell icon thanks for watching